Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Earthbound Beginnings. Today, we're taking the tank. We're gonna take it. Um, how do I, how do I do that? Do I just talk to you? Oh, you wanna run on a plane? No. Well, it is quite expensive. I don't blame you. Okay. Do I just have to show you my ticket stubs? Use. Great, I see you saved ten stubs. Take my tank. You sure look happy. Ha 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 ha. Oh shoot, I never gave him his western voice. That's okay. Let's roll. Yeah! Look at us! <laughs> We're riding a tank! I always like to picture that Lloyd is driving because I feel like he's the only one out of the party that would actually know how to drive a tank. It would, it would make sense, because, you know, if he's an expert in explosives and various other things, I wouldn't be surprised if Lloyd wanted to be, like, a military scientist. Like, when he grew up. Like, that'd be amazing! Okay, now here's the giant robot that I was telling you about. Now... Here's where it gets interesting. So, just watch. Just watch this. Okay. It bounced back the attack! Ha 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 ha! I like to think they're all taking turns firing the tank gun. <laughs> like, just- Lloyd's just like, Okay, do you wanna try? Yeah, I wanna try! <laughs> I mean, it's, it's an interesting concept to think about, like, just all three of them taking turns, trying to get this robot. I'm pretty sure Nintendo's- Nintendo and Lloyd are just like, This is like going to the arcade and, like, playing one of those games. I don't know what games were out at the time, so don't- don't quote me. But I'm sure there were a lot of shooting games that were out at the time. I haven't played a lot of arcade games that required shooting. Um... Okay, well there's maybe one of them, but I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically like a human hand uh, and you shoot bugs. That's pretty much all I can think of. But anyways, but yeah, the tank was sadly destroyed. And I love how they just leave and go to the monkey cavern. Monkeys! Hello, good sir. Most monkeys here will lie to you. Beware! Okay, I'm being aware. Let's- <laughs> Oh yeah, but also on the last episode we learned another melody and you're gonna hear it right now. There's the metronome thing again. <laughs> but yeah, we have we have five melodies now. We are more than halfway there. I don't think there are any enemies down here because it's just monkeys. But yeah, I will be exploring this area thoroughly as there are many presents that we can acquire now that our inventory has a lot of space. So yeah, let's go exploring. This place is pretty big, but it's not too big that it's frustrating. Hello, sir. I am a lady. Don't talk to me so casually. Uh, what do I say to that? <laughs> yes, the truth is, I am a man. Okay then, nice talking to you. <laughs> I love this part of the game, it's so cool. Am I back at the beginning? In the town by the sea, you'll meet a new friend. That's right, I do meet a new friend in a town by the sea. Um... I'll- you'll find out who it is later. I'm pretty sure you would already know because he was on the starting screen. Okay, I think that's actually where we need to go next, but I want to explore this place a little more, see if we can find some nice- nice presents! Because I like presents. Presents are good to have. Okay, let's see... Did I just go this way? Oh no, I didn't. Okay. I've got a good story to tell you. Want to hear it? Absolutely! Well, you should be nice to friends. I am nice to my friends. That's all I've got to say. I'm nice to my friends. Yeah, you're a nice guy, Ninten. Aw, oh, thanks, Anna. Lloyd, you're kinda quiet there. Nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> uh, no, I, I highly doubt Ninten would be mean to Lloyd. Ninten is too nice, in my opinion. Like I know I know I've probably had Ninten say some things, but that would contradict that, but I really do believe that Ninten is a very nice person. It's too quiet here. But too quiet for me, I think. We can make it loud! <laughs> if you want. <laughs> no. Let's not. Okay, are there no presents around here? Oh yeah, there's the beginning again. Well, I guess we don't have any presents. Let's go down a floor and see what we can find there. Yeah, because I, I do not believe that there are any enemies here to be seen whatsoever. And I'm okay with that. I like being able to explore an area freely without having to worry about enemies coming after my head. 
I love this game so much. Like, I know it may seem like I don't love this game, but I really, really do love this game. Uh, uh like, this had so much potential to be real- This had so much potential to be, like, really, really good in America, but, like, you know. Didn't happen. Well, except recently, like, five years ago, it got released on the Virtual Console for the Wii U, so I guess that's okay, but the Wii U didn't do so hot, so... What are we gonna do about that? Remake it in HD! <laughs> as awesome as that would be. Okay, just walk straight. Find truth at the end of the path. Okay, but I want to find a present. I don't want to find truth. I just- I want to find a present. I want presents, okay? <laughs> I like presents. I need to have some presents. Yeah, I think this episode, I think we'll just be exploring the area a little bit and then maybe, maybe stop at Youngtown. But yeah, I think that's about it for this, for that episode. Oh yes, present. Let's hit it. Open the present. <gasps> yes, a PSI stone. Finally, been needing some more of those. I kept finding them, like, everywhere in my last playthrough. <laughs> How long did it take you to get here? Several days. <laughs> I- since time doesn't really pass in this game- well, okay, it does if you sleep in a hotel or at home or something. Uh, but you can't visually tell because this is an 8-bit game! There's no sky! Okay, well, there is sky, but it's, like, not prominent in the game. Like, you can't physically see it turn to night. You just kind of have to guess. I kind of want to try, like, a real-time playthrough of an Earthbound game just to count how many days it took. Retreat! And if you don't want to, go back! Oh, never mind. Go forward! Okay, then. Not Thank you, monkey. I will just be on my way, then. Um, any presents? Nope. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hello, monkey. Monkey! I want to talk to the monkey. Hello. You caught up with me. I'll admit, that's something. Yeah, it wasn't really that hard. <laughs> Here, I'll give you something nice! <gasps> What did he give me? Oh, whoops. No, not that. <laughs> oh, stop it! Okay. There. Oh, a quick capsule! Okay, who has the worst- Oh, Anna probably has the worst speed. I'll let her drink it because- Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Get this. Use on Anna. Yeah, I like to think the, like, Nintendo just pulls it out and Anna's like, MINE! <laughs> no, it's probably not like that. They're so nice to each other. They're all best friends, otherwise they would probably have left the party a long time ago. <laughs> uh, okay, what do we have? Another PSI stone! We have three PSI stones now! That's awesome! Now our PSI will never go down! Ha 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 ha! Okay, let's, let's talk to this monkey. Turn right, then left to find something nice! Okay, turn right... Okay, what, what's up, monkey? I don't trust these monkeys. They're all liars! By the way, go right, left, left, and right. Okay. Okay. I, ca I can't seem to go left. Left. No, I can't seem to go left that way either. Oh, what's up, monkey? Oh, on a Oh. Okay. Um, we're gonna go now. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable reading that. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh! It's a gray monkey! Don't believe that all monkeys are liars. That's nothing but a lie! I don't know what to believe anymore! <laughs> okay, that's a lot of monkeys, though. <laughs> I love these monkeys. Never mind, this song is not yours. Okay, never- I can get the song if I want to. Huh? Do I look like a monkey? Yeah, you do look like a monkey. I'm really a raccoon pretending to be a monkey. <gasps> it's a raccoon! Going undercover! I'm the boss monkey. I'm really annoyed that the others tell so many lies. Go straight ahead, you'll find an exit to your right. But I want to find more presents! A big mistake, I really shouldn't have come here. Is that a penguin? That's a penguin! What's it? I love penguins! Cool down, dude. Are you serious? so serious all the time? Sure, I'll be serious all the time. Oh man, it's like you don't know when to quit. Take a rest, bud. Yeah, I might, but I want to run around. I am a quiet monkey. I don't talk much. You see? Okay. <laughs> nice talking with you, monkey. Oh, gosh. I found a penguin. I'm so happy. My day has been made so much better because I found a penguin. I love, love penguins. I think they're just so cute. I, I, every time I go to the zoo, like, the first thing I want to see is a penguin. 
I love penguins. Oh, wait, what did he say? Don't go any farther inside. Oh, wait, the monkey's light. I'm smart. Uh, I want to. I want to leave. I want to go to the path. Oh, right here. Here we go. <gasps> a cave. A mysterious cave. <gasps> Another portal to Magicant. Let us go. Wait, a voice is speaking in Inten's mind. Oh yeah, that's right. Telepathy. Oh wait, not goods. PSI. Telepathy. Okay, who has lost its tail? That thing in the diary. Okay, we're just gonna briefly stop at Magicon for a little bit. And then we're gonna we're gonna head back to uh to the real world because there's not really much we can do here. I mean I know we can go get the dragon, but I don't wanna do that yet. We'll just we'll go get the sixth melody later when we get our next party member. Mostly because I have died multiple times to the dragon, and I would not like to lose my life again. Is that fair? I think that's fair. Ow, don't hurt me. Oh, hey, Lloyd Dutch! Sweet! Okay. I really hope the audio is working this time, because the editing was not fun for the last episode. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I have some very very fond memories with this game and many other games. Honestly, like, I've, <laughs> I'm even surprising myself that this is the first Let's Play I wanted to do. Mostly because I love this game and I like showing it to people, but at the same time, my all-time favorite game is Ocarina of Time. Like, Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, I don't quite have the tools to play that right now, but I love that game so much is because I have really really fond memories with that game and just playing it with my brother and I just recently showed the game to my youngest brother and he's he's beating it like I am just really happy for him I'm sorry I probably big sister moment here but I am just so happy that there are kids younger than me who still think Ocarina of Time is the work of art that it is but yeah See, I never grew up with Earthbound. The only games I grew up with were Mario and Zelda. And Kirby. Let's not forget Kirby. Kirby is amazing. <laughs> One of these days, I really want to play, like, Kirby's Epic Yarn or Kirby Superstar on the channel. But that might be a while, as I do not have the, the proper tools to play those games yet. <laughs> for YouTube. Oh, oh, okay. But, yeah, like... I think... A lot of people would stop playing this game, um, maybe after getting the first three melodies. I don't know. It, maybe maybe they just think they're doing side quests and then not realizing they're doing the main story. I don't know how a person playing this blind for the first time would take this game, but I think what kept me going was I wanted to see how it ended. And I also wanted to see what other cool things this game has to offer, because this is, this is not completely new to me. But it this is newer than what I have seen. Uh, the oldest game that I've seen with this type of RPG element is a uh, fantasy, spelled with a PH for the Commodore 64. And I've also seen Fantasy 2 as well, except I don't remember it as much. Actually, I might have, but as Fantasy and Fantasy 2 look very similar. Maybe I'll play Fantasy on the channel one day. But Fantasy is like really early RPG because. <laughs> How it works is you have your party of guys, it, well, I think the max you can have out in the wild is six, and you just go out and do whatever. Like, you just go out, go through dungeons, fight monsters in this type of fashion. It's really, really fascinating, and I think it's way ahead of its time. Again, I might play this on the channel, but I don't know, because I don't know if the Commodore 64 emulator that I have will work. Yes, I do use an emulator because the actual Commodore 64 system is really old. It's very, very old and would probably not function if I were to plug it in right now. Unless I got a new one for like a thousand dollars, but I don't have that kind of money right now, so... But yeah, like, it's... It's, it's a fun game. Uh, I, but if you want to know my favorite game for the Commodore 64 is Mule. Like that game. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard of the game for like the NES and stuff like that, but it came from the Commodore 64 and it's amazing. And I just, I love to play it. I'll play it on the channel uh, at some point, but I'd have to play it with someone else. 
But yeah, if you haven't noticed, back to the game, if you haven't noticed, this cave is quite different. Let's head in. <gasps> we're out in the wild again. Okay, let's see how close we are to the- Okay, we're not that too far away from Youngtown. But LA is like, up there, like way up north. So yeah, we're gonna walk over to Youngtown. So yeah, that's that's a shortcut you can take to get to uh, Youngtown from Magicant. <gasps> a red snake! We gotta get it! We gotta get it! We gotta get it! Okay, uh, hypnosis... And you fight it, and paralysis. With the usual formula- No! It ran away! No! Okay. Uh. Oh man. Ooh, a Titanese! Okay, I'm actually gonna lower its defense so that we can have an easier time fighting it. Okay. Peaky Beam. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, these monsters just have a lot of defense. I don't think they're that hard. Just watch as I die right here. Oh, hey. Yes, PK Beam! Ha! Yeah, see, look at all that damage. Get him, Lloyd. Okay, that wasn't too good. But yeah. I don't think I can lower the defense down anymore. Which is frustrating, but, you know. Game mechanics. But that's okay. Ouch. Ooh! Ouch. I'm so glad we're close to a town because we need to get some health and stuff. Okay. Pretty sure Nintendo would just be like, This is the way to Young Town. We just have to follow the train tracks and we'll get to a train station. Are you sure? Well, yeah, it says so on my map. Where'd you get that map? Yeah, I've been wondering the same thing. How, you, how do you have that map? Honestly, guys, I have no idea how I've had this map. I just found it on my parents' desk and just took it on my way out the door so that I could, you know, go on this adventure. Oh no, it didn't work! Oh no! Come on, Anna, paralyze it! Yes! <laughs> uh... Yeah, I actually do wonder how the heck Nintendo has a map of the entire world. Or at least the state that he lives in, because I think I think it's a it's a state. He lives in a state in America. One of the United States of America. <laughs> okay. I'll do Okay, I'll I'll stop. <laughs> Alright, let's get him. Yes! Look at all this XP! I'm so, so happy that we have all this XP. And I'm all leveled up! Yay! <laughs> uh, okay. But yeah. We're almost to Young Town. And we're gonna get there, and it's gonna be great. Alright, we just have to follow these train tracks, and we should be near Young Town. Have you been to Young Town, Anna? Not really! I've never even seen the place. Yeah, here's the train station. Is there anything in the train station? Oh yeah, there's just a guy here. What's up? The trains have stopped. The track was ruined. It's the end of the world and you just ask questions. Stop asking so many questions or I'll start to cry. Jeez, dude, calm down. <laughs> You're not gonna die. Yes, there's an alien invasion going on. Yes, there's a whole lot of other things going on. But it's- you're, you're gonna be fine. I went the wrong way. How the heck do I get into Young Town? How do I get in? Wait. Was that green on the map there earlier? I- How was that there? I don't know. Seriously, how do I get into Young Town? Do I just have to like, pray that I can make it through all these trees? Oh jeez. How do I- How do I get in? Where's the town? <laughs> I know I'm going the right way, but like, where do I enter the town? Please help! I don't want to fight all these monsters. Okay, I guess I just have to go this way. I'd have to, have to widen my mind a bit. Here it is! Okay, let's talk to some of the people here and see what's up. Halt! Who goes there? <laughs> Whoa, jeez, calm down. What's wrong? Something's not right here. I don't see any grown-ups. Where's mom? Oh no. If there's no grown-ups here, then... I'm sorry, Anna, but... It's okay. Let's just find out what these kids have to say. Okay, 
Can you hold still, though? <laughs> hold still! Please bring back our mom and dad! I beg you! So yeah, basically what happened here is all of the parents in this town got abducted by aliens! Please hold me! I'm pretty sure Ninten and Lloyd and Anna would just give hugs to all the children just to help them feel better. Because, you know, this holds me too! Because, <laughs> you know, when you lose your parents, you just, you feel terrible. A lot of these kids are asking me to hold them. <laughs> uh, okay, what do you have to say, little girl? Oh yeah, look, little girl, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you! A big ship from the sky took mom and dad away! They took my parents. They took my mommy too. Hey, Anna. It's okay. We'll find your mom. Uh, and then Nintendo's giving Anna a hug, and Lloyd is just sitting there looking around. It's okay, Anna. We'll find your mom. I promise. And we'll save her too. Whatever it takes. Thank you, Nintendo. <laughs> okay. And I'm pretty sure that was the moment where Nintendo and Anna realized that they truly loved each other. Oh, okay. I heard my dad's voice coming from the mountains, but the mountains are beyond the town of LA. Oh, I think this is telling this is him telling us where uh, we are gonna fight the final boss. It's so far away, I can't make that journey. Thank heavens we can. We can make the journey. Now I can't go into these houses because they don't have Round doors. Yeah, this one has a round door. Where's my mommy? Where's my daddy? Oh, man. See, it would suck to have your parents abducted by aliens. You'd feel terrible. Oh, this girl looks like Anna. I literally think they just took Anna's sprite model and stuck her here. Mom told me this baby has mystic powers. <gasps> yes! Yes, 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 yes! It's a baby! Oh, yes, my name is Tom Garrickson. I like to introduce myself. It's my hobby. Okay, then. Nice talking to you. It's a baby. Googa. Now watch this. This is this is actually pretty cool. Yes, even though my body is that of a baby, like you, I possess psychic abilities. <gasps> Very smart baby. I know the power of teleportation. Yes, we can teleport now. Use this power to return. Uh, excuse me. Use this power to return to a place you've been to. The baby taught him them his power of teleportation! Hooray! Now, both Anna and Nintendo teleportation. So, um, in case, like, one of them is really low on PSI, we can use the other. But if both are low on PSI, then we're screwed. But yeah, I think there's a house here that we can rest at nearby. Let's go find it. And maybe talk to some more NPCs while we're at it. Because, you know, these kids just lost their mommies and daddies. We gotta save them. It's not really fun to be a kid without your parents. I mean, like, for most kids it would sound like a good time, but really, it's not. Oh, it's a church. You know, in the in the manuals, they actually say that Anna is Christian. I actually picture Anna just taking the boys there and just praying, and Ninten and Lloyd just praying with her. Because I think, because th they're, they're really nice people, and I'm pretty sure both of them would respect Anna's beliefs. And it... Oh man, I just have so many scenes for this game in my imagination that I wish I could draw and animate, but I cannot. It's very sad. Okay, let's talk to you. I like it without the grown-ups around. Sure I do. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, for kids, you need to have your parents with you, because they teach you all the stuff you need to know, and they love you! Something is very strange with the Garrickson baby. Something very strange indeed. Yeah, we already talked to him. He taught us teleportation. <laughs> okay. Well, 2 plus 3 equals 5. 8 minus 4 equals 4. I study all the time. And that is correct math. Good for you. Okay, now there's a store here. Oh, this is a this is a boy's house. Let's talk to him. Well, Dad isn't home, and I don't care about money. So if you need a place to stay, feel free to stay here tonight. Oh, yes. Let's rest up here. Sleep tight, and don't let the bed bugs bite. Yeah, we're gonna rest- yeah, this is actually- Youngtown is actually another great place to grind enemies- grind for XP. And, uh, yeah, just- We might- I might do that off-camera, maybe get Nintendo up to level 27 and N Anna up to level 20. Just to prepare for the oncoming storm, because the enemies are gonna get a lot harder from here on out. And we need to be ready! 
Good morning, please come back again someday. If you do, I may not get quite so lonely here. Oh, you won't get lonely when your parents come back. Okay, let's go over here. Yeah, this is a shop. And there's a phone. Okay, let's see what we have here. Welcome, what can I sell you? <gasps> the air gun! Okay, I know I can get this nonstick pan for Anna, but the boomerang is actually better than this. So yeah, we're gonna get that air gun. We're gonna get the air gun for Lloyd! I can't sell anything though, so I'll probably have to drop the stun gun, which is which is kind of sad, but hey. Whatever works, we need to get Lloyd some great weapons! Okay, withdraw. Uh, we need $1,400. Okay, now let's, let's get Lloyd the air gun, because that is Lloyd's best weapon in the entire game. Okay, um, yeah, I think we'll get some life up creams. And. Oh, shoot! I forgot to stop it with the Goods Keeper! Oh, shoot! Ah, uh, I need to get rid of some stuff with the Goods Keeper. Um, yeah, let's get another life up cream. And I think that's enough of the life up creams. No, I'm good. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, I think right now I should probably demonstrate teleportation. So, yeah. Okay, we gotta find a nice running space for this to work, though, because, uh... Well... It requires you to run a long distance, so yeah, let's- let- So yeah, I'm gonna probably just, like, start over here. I have teleported out of Youngtown before, but it is not easy. So yeah, I'm gonna start over here, and let's try the teleportation to... Um, actually, no, what? No, no, no. We'll, dem we'll demonstrate the teleportation in Magic Hunt when we, uh, go... When we go check out- when we go, uh, put everything back in the- with the Goods Keeper. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, we come here to Magic Hunt a lot. It's a good thing, though. Okay, now let's, uh, let's go see the Goods Keeper. Yeah, I need to get rid of the ticket stubs. That's what I need to get rid of. I am the mysterious Goods Keeper. You have a need. Yes, leave. I don't need the ticket stubs anymore. I can't drop the ticket stubs. That's why I- have to, uh, give them- put them in storage so that I don't have to hold on to them. Uh, no, you're good. Okay, so let's- let's- let's get Lloyd his, uh, air gun ready. Oh, whoops. I, he's holding too many stuff. Uh, let's give this to Anna. Um, my nose is a little stuffy. <laughs> seasonal allergies are fun, kids! No, they're not! I hate seasonal allergies! <laughs> give this to Lloyd. And... Equip! Use it! Yes! And now Lloyd is even stronger. Okay, let's- let's- No, oh, no, no, not the life of creep. Uh, stun gun, let's drop that. Lloyd threw away the stun gun, because we don't need it anymore. Okay. Now! Let's demonstrate teleportation. Well, we got- we- Well, let's- let's save first, because I want to be sure that we save because, I don't know, I've always had saving anxiety because, um, I played on the Nintendo 64 for most of my childhood, and sometimes the game would freeze, so I would save, like, I got into a habit of saving, like, very, very often, like, every five seconds or five minutes or so, just because I was really worried the game would crash. I still have that anxiety with, like, other games. That's why uh, you'll probably see me saving a whole lot. Okay, now let's demonstrate teleportation. All right, so let's not goods. I keep going to goods. I think it's because in regular Earthbound the PSI is above the goods. I think, but yeah, here let's try it. Okay, let's go to Young Town. So we don't run into anything. Yay, it worked. <laughs> okay, well that's it for this episode. I'm probably gonna stop here uh, and grind off camera for a little bit. And next episode, we'll probably make our way over to LA, the next city we have to go to, and hopefully we'll meet a new friend! So anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye!